is on the graph. This is the 4.5 and the 4. So here we should have here our new facility. So welcome to our last discussion regarding location strategies. So in this discussion, we're going to cover the center of gravity approach, which is actually the third way or the third recommended mathematical assessment on how we can evaluate or how can assess the location that we have. Okay, so evaluating location alternatives. This is the third one. Again, center of gravity. So let's start our discussion. Center of gravity, guys. Is actually a method for locating a distribution center that minimizes the total distribution cost. So that is the center of gravity. That's why we we are uh, referring to the center of all that the the distribution centers that we have. So let's have an example for you to be able to appreciate. But before that, pala, no, let's have a formula muna. No, ito ang ating formula. We have the x bar and the y bar. So basically, this is a mean. So x bar is equals to the summation of x sub i over n, while y bar is equals to the summation of y sub i over n. So this x and y is actually a coordinate pair. I hope you still remember the basic uh, mathematics, uh, basic na Cartesian coordinate points, quadrant one. So this is a coordinate pair x and y. Now, let's have an example here. Determine the coordinates of the center of gravity for the problem with the details beside. This is the details. These are the details. Assume that the shipments from the center of gravity to each of the four destinations will be equal quantities. So, meaning, destination 1 has its coordinates 2 and 2. Destination 2 has its coordinate 3, 5. Destination 3 has its coordinates 5, 4. And destination 4 has its coordinates 8 and 5. So, let's have some illustration. Actually, ito po yung itsura niya. You know, the map showing the destinations. We don't have a specific uh, place here that we are talking about. But on a general perspective, ganito po itsura niya. You know, so D1 here, D2 here, D3 here, and D4 here. So, the question is where we should put our uh, new location, our distribution center. What is our uh, problem? By the way, assume that the shipments with the center of gravity ship on Eureka. Determine the coordinates and center of the... So, we are trying to find out the center of all this distribution uh, or the all of all of this destination. So, where, where should it be? Pwede bang dito? Pwede ba dito? 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 Or saan? No, ayun yung gusto nating malaman. That's why we are having the coordinates as our given. Okay, so let's have our solution. Actually, that is just basic. Since sabi ng ating problem, we should find first the summation of x sub i and and the summation of y sub i. And here's the coordinates. So we should sum this muna. You know, so, 3, 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 8, this is equivalent to 18. So, 2 plus 5 plus 4 plus 5, this is equivalent to 16. So, we have here, x, x bar, okay, equals summation of x sub i over n, and this is equivalent to 18. Our n, guys, is the number of destination that we have. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, our n here will be 4. And 18 divided by 4, this is uh -huh, around 4.5. Okay. For the y, our formula here is the summation of y sub i over n. So, y sub i is 16. Okay. So, 16 divided by n, which is 4. 16 divided by 4, this is equivalent to 4. So, our uh, coordinate will be 4.5 and 4. Okay, so here it is on the graph. This is the 4.5 and the 4. So here we should have here our new facility. Dito po tayo magtatayo. No, ito yung tamang location. 4.5 and 4. So that is for our second, uh, that is our first example, no? 
For our second example, ito po tayo. Suppose that the shipments for the problem are not all equal. Kanina kasi, sa problem 1 natin, lahat ng shipment is actually equal. Okay, ito, sabi yo, assume that the shipments from the center of gravity to each of the four destinations will be equal quantities. But if that is not of equal quantities, no, we have the following weekly quantities. What will be now our center of gravity? Considering that we have another column here, which are the weekly quantity na ipapadala natin per destination. Okay, yung shipments. So, weekly quantity destination 1 is 800. Weekly quantity destination 2 is 900. Weekly quantity destination 3 is 200. And weekly quantity destination 4 is 100 for the total of one uh, 2,000. Now, uh, for the solution, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to have our uh, weighted average formula. I hope you still remember your basic statistics, no? the descriptive statistics, the weighted mean. Ito rin po yun. Parehong pareho lang po yun ng ating mga solutions dito. So, if you'll check for the x sub bar natin, Kanina, we have the summation of x sub i over n. But ngayon, since we have the weight, we can actually have here the q sub i, okay, quantity sub i, summation yan, over quantity sub i. What quantity yung tinutukoy? Yung eto po. No? Yung mga yan, 800, 900, up to the 100. Now, this is for the x bar, Okay. So, we can actually begin our computation. So, alam pong gagawin? 2 times 800 plus 3 times 900 plus 5 times 200 plus 8 times 100 all over the summation of the quantity which is the 2,000. Okay, so here we should have here summation. Okay, so let's write the computation here. 2 times 800 Okay, 2 times 800 plus 3 times 900. Okay, 3 times 900 plus we have here 5 times 200. 5 times 200 plus 8 times 100. 8 times 100 all over the summation of the quantity which is 2000. Okay, so 2,000. And this is, let's have a computation here. Okay, so 2 times 800 plus 3 times 900 plus 5 times 200 plus 8 times 100. Okay, and let's divide them into 2,000. By 2000. Answer is 3.05. So the x is 3.05. Okay, so we can now solve for the y. For the y, almost the same, guys. But here we should have the summation of. Oops, napa ano, nagdagan yung summation. <laughs> summation of the summation. Anyway, so let's delete it. Okay, so summation of y sub i multiplied to q sub i over summation of q sub i. So, let's check. So, 2 times 800, almost the same with the x, 2 times 800 plus 5 times 900, okay, 5 times 900 plus 4 times 200, 4 times 200, Plus, we have 5 times 100. 5 times 100. All over the summation of quantity, which is 2,000. And this is equivalent to, let's have our computation again. Let's just delete this 3. Let's make it 5. Okay, go in natin siyang 4. Okay. And this will be 5. And answer is 3.7. Okay, so 3.7. Therefore, our center of gravity will be 3.05 and 
7. And guys, if we're going to graph this, ganito po ang itsura niya. No, before, around dito ang ating center of gravity. Pero ngayon, nandito na. So, 3.05 and 3.7. The 0 0.05 is somehow omitted na siya dahil maliit lang naman yun. Hindi pressed. Eh. But the location is dito. No, kapit tinan nyo nyo, that is now the center of that four uh, destinations. So, we have now our center of gravity. Diyan, dapat sila magtatayo ng bago ng facilities. If you're going to compare, medyo nag-shift yung point. No? Before kasi ito, malapit siya sa D3. Using our example. Ba? Pero ngayon, nandito na medyo lumigis. Dahil nga po, we have the quantities na kinoconsider. They are not of equal shifts. Okay, so that is our third uh, assessment or third evaluation in location alternatives, which is the center of gravity approach or the center of gravity method. I hope you guys learned something from this discussion. Thank you for being with me on this topic. See you on our topic regarding operations management, which is all about layout. So, papasuki naman po natin yung layout strategies. That will be our next topic. Okay? So, keep safe always and see you on our next discussion. Goodbye, everyone!